How many of you feel like high school is adequately preparing you for the real world? Real world. How to cook, how to clean, and basic car maintenance. Most people think that checking the oil is a very complicated task, but in reality it's very simple. In the next few minutes, I will be sharing with you how to access the dipstick, checking the levels of oil in your car, and determining whether or not you need to add more oil. So let's start with accessing the dipstick. The first thing you need to do is pop your hood. Show of hands, how many of you actually know where the hood release is at in your car? So the first thing I'm going to do... The hood release in my car is on the driver's side, um, but it varies for every car. My car is 16 years old, so it's quite a bit older than most people's cars. Once we have the hood popped, you actually have to release the hood. So I have a little lever under here, and I just lift the hood. Um, in newer cars, the hood will come up automatically, but mine doesn't, so I use this stand to keep the hood propped up. So once the hood is popped, you want to find the dipstick. The dipstick is going to be located right in front of the engine and then this in the oil reservoir. Um, so it's going to be a circular ring. Sometimes it's colored, mine is colored, it's right here. Um, my suggestion is if you don't check your oil very often, you can always take a picture of it and when you want to check your oil you can go back to it. So I like to ask myself, did I just find a circular ring? If the answer is yes, congratulations, you just found the dipstick. <laughs> so once you've found the dipstick, you I have a paper towel, you can use a rag. You're going to want to take it out and I just wipe it off. Wiping it off is going to ensure that you get a clean reading. If you just take the oil out and look at this oil, you're not going to be able to determine how full your oil pan is. So once you've wiped it off, you're going to reinsert the dipstick, just like that, and then I take it out one more time. And then checking the oil, there's these four circles right here, just so you guys can see them. Um, to determine whether your oil is full or not, they're going to cover these four circles. My oil is at the third circle level, I'm actually dropping that on the ground. Um, so mine is good. So once I check the oil, I stick this back in here. And the last thing I'm going to be talking about is determining whether or not you need to add oil into your car. So my car is actually a little less than 200 miles away from needing oil change, so mine was a little bit low. Another way to check, the oil, check if the oil needs added is the color of it. As you can see, my oil is kind of dark. It just shows that my oil is getting dirty and I'm going to get it changed soon. So today I talk about accessing the dipstick, check proper, checking the oil levels, and determining if you need to add oil to your car. Thank you for listening.